Fox News propagandist Brian Kilmeade went on national television and he did what few conservatives are willing or brave enough to do. He defied Daddy Trump, and what he said, especially about Donald Trump, his message to Trump and Trump sycophants, is definitely going to ruffle some feathers. Take a look. A little bit deeper into the media coverage of the January 6th anniversary and other issues. Joining us now from New York, Brian Kilmeade, the co-host of Fox and & Friends and author of the new book, The President and the Freedom Fighter, Abraham Lincoln, Frederick Douglass, and the Battle to Save America's Soul. Brian, at the heart of the outraged media coverage of January 6th is Donald Trump's insistence, I sometimes get several statements a day from him, that he did not lose the election. Now, you have some thoughts about that. Yeah, I do. I, I think that uh, in life, you have to learn to lose. Hillary Clinton has to learn that. You know, Al Gore pretty much did learn that. Stacey Abrams didn't learn that. And if you did, in fact, get screwed out of this election, put together an A-team list of lawyers, not the ones we witnessed, and show us the districts and show us how. I have not seen any of that. And people were very uh, receptive. You would have been very receptive if they showed proof of this. Now, it, it defies logic to think the president, uh, the pr uh, president could win by 7 million votes, who never left his basement, who couldn't put together a clear speech, who never engaged in a challenging interview, who really struggled through every, uh, uh, every debate, could actually win this election. But in the end, I think you got to channel back to Andrew Jackson, the guy the president also was compared to quite often, an outsider that defied logic, didn't want to be an insider to Washington, hired his family. When he lost a controversial election, despite winning the popular vote, and it went to the house a backroom deal was cut with henry clay and john quincy adams and guess what he becomes secretary of state does clay adams gets the presidency and he lost by millions of votes to andrew jackson jackson shows up at the inaugural and goes and wins the next two elections and becomes more powerful after being president than being president okay in life we have to learn to lose democrats and republicans right um is it anti-trump by the media to report the facts that there is no significant evidence of widespread fraud and you said on Fox and Friends that Trump's relitigating 2020 is not helping the country. A couple of things. It's, it isn't. Uh, it doesn't help him. But Donald Trump has defied everybody again. It was the worst day in Republican history. They lost two Senate elections and lost the Senate in Georgia. The next day, you have the raid on the Capitol after Trump supporters went through to the Capitol. Now, when you look at the investigation, look at Tucker Carlson's originals. It actually brings up some great questions about it. As you brought up earlier in your show, the people that were uh, beating up cops, as were people that were smashing windows, they were walking around with the Confederate flag, you know, and doing damage to in, in uh, Nancy Pelosi's office need to be prosecuted. We know that. But you also should say to yourself in the big picture uh, that hurt that hurt uh, Donald Trump as much as anything since. So they think he was sidelined. One year later, he's as powerful as ever, despite being on social media, and is the number one contender to have the nomination next time when he comes back. That's why Joe Biden does his speech. That's why he said he's a defeated president. He was defeated by a margin of over 7 million votes. Did you why find- Why was he saying that yesterday? Did you- Okay. I mean, you don't get credit for just confirming what's real confirming reality and you really should have said this explicitly a year ago but what he said is correct and i think that it is important i think that what would really make a difference is if many right-wing people who are prominent in trump world come out and say this uh you know somebody here and there speaking truth about this it's not really going to make the difference but still this is important now of course he's still paying fealty to conspiracies about january 6th he's still throwing in jabs at hillary clinton and how she never accepted her loss in 2016 which she did even if she was insufferable and he's doing that so that way there's you know some plausible deniability there that way people can accuse him of being a dnc shill but nonetheless the message is crystal clear you have to learn to lose he says this to donald trump donald trump is going to be absolutely livid that he said this now donald trump has already kind of soured on fox news when he was still president he was tweeting out support for oan and newsmax since they were going along with his delusional agenda but still conservatives by and large tune into fox news in very very large numbers so for a fox host to say this i think that it is important but again it just feels like it's a little bit too late i think it's important that people who support Donald Trump but know he's lying 
admit this. And it's frustrating because you know these conservatives and donors, they love Donald Trump. They just don't like the spectacle. That's inconvenient. They want the country to be stable so that way they continue to get their goodies, their tax cuts and deregulations. So they don't like that Donald Trump makes politics about him. So they've been trying to very gently bring Donald Trump back to reality, but that's not how Donald Trump operates. Donald Trump is a narcissist. And this is all about him. He doesn't care about America. He doesn't care about policy. This is all about him. So, you know, if more people in unison say this to Donald Trump, I mean, I don't know that it would make a difference, but at least the people who follow Donald Trump might begin to think, okay, if enough people who I respect typically are saying this, maybe it's maybe it's true. Who knows, though? I don't I don't know. I honestly don't know what it's going to take to um, bring a lot of the GOP's base back to reality. I genuinely don't know. And Howard Kurtz there, you know, he asks a rhetorical question. Is it anti-Trump? to uh for the media to report the fact that there is no widespread evidence of significant voter fraud so this is obviously a rhetorical question what he's trying to do there is get people to think at least somewhat logically for a second you know you, you don't have to go along with everything that trump says and still support his policies now i don't know why if you're a normal american you would support his elitist policies but still you know they're trying to disaggregate trump from the conspiracy theories trump's policies from the big lie. And this is important for them going forward, knowing that Donald Trump is likely going to be the GOP's nominee in 2024. So, you know, it's really interesting to see more and more people turn on Donald Trump. I mean, this is kind of like a soft, uh, I guess you could say betrayal of, of Brian Kilmeade. But, you know, uh, the thing about Donald Trump is that you're either with him 100% or not at all. So the fact that Brian Kilmeade is, uh, saying that he essentially supports Donald Trump, but he needs to learn to accept that he lost, that's that's a non-starter for Donald Trump. That bridge is permanently burned. Um, so it's interesting. I, I hope that more people in Trump world fight. I know that the Trump's lawyers, uh, Lynn Wood, has been fighting with other Trump people. I'm forgetting, like, they're all kind of battling each other because they all want to rise up in the ranks and, you know, have a position of power if Trump chooses to run again and if he wins. Uh, but this is this is interesting. I, I think all these ghouls are terrible. Trump is the worst of the worst, but Brian Kilmeade also, he's bad, but at least he's saying the truth right here. This is important nonetheless. But really what I want to see is all of these fools rip each other apart because they're objectively bad for not just America, but the planet as well. And the more that they fight and destroy their movement or whatever the fuck you want to call their psychoticness, uh, the more better off we'll all be. But I mean, I don't think that this is going to have an impact in the grand scheme of things. It's just going to make Trump really mad. And for what it's worth, I'm okay with that too. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.